Hello and welcome everyone, Nicholas from Bicycle here and let me tell you, waxing your chain has just become so much easier. Many people often avoid it because it's too much effort but it doesn't need to be. Today we're going to dive into what chain waxing is, why people are making the switch from traditional lubes and how to do it yourself in minutes. Yes, you heard correctly, not days, not hours, but minutes. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to stay updated with all things cycling. And now, let's roll into the video. In simple terms, chain waxing is an alternative to traditional chain lubrication methods. Instead of applying liquid lubricants, cyclists use a specially formulated wax to coat their chains. This creates a protective layer that reduces friction, repels dirt, and keeps the chain running smoothly. The main benefits of chain waxing over traditional lubes include a cleaner drivetrain, as the dry wax-based coating doesn't attract dirt and grime as much as traditional wet lubes, meaning less maintenance, smoother ride, and longer lasting components, especially the chain itself. Self. Reduced friction contributing to a more efficient and smoother pedaling experience, which can also lead to improved performance and even a slight gain in speed, with some brands claiming a savings of 8 watts. Lastly, and one of the more noticeable perks of chain waxing is the reduction in noise. The wax creates a quiet, smooth chain movement, enhancing your overall cycling experience. Now in general, waxing your chain is very simple, but a lot of people avoid it due to the degreasing and prep phase of the chain, which is a very important step. Because if it is not cleaned correctly and all the grease is not removed, then the wax won't adhere properly and it just won't work great. In the past, multiple steps and a large amount of time and harsh chemicals such as mineral spirits, acetone and alcohol was needed to remove all the grease until now. Silka already came out with an amazing stripper in the past that completely stripped grease and prep chains in 10 minutes. But now they have just came out with a revolutionary product which eliminates the need to use any harsh chemicals and the entire degreasing step. It is called the Strip Chip and it essentially turns the grease from a new factory chain straight into a wax-like substance that does not break down the base wax like oil from greasewood, saving you a lot of time, which is absolutely crazy, and the performance is exactly the same. They also released their waxing station, which makes the entire process much easier, cleaner, and eliminates the need for stuff like crock pots, extra chain hangers, etc. It features a 600 mm melting pot, preset wax melting temperatures ranging from 75 to 125 degrees Celsius and also a chain hanger to let the wax dry and drip back into the pot. But enough chit chat, let me show you how this works, what else you need and how to wax your chain in minutes. In terms of materials, you'll need a degreaser. In this case, I'll be showing you how to use the strip chip together with a new factory grease chain. But if you want to degrease multiple chains at once or a somewhat used chain, then we recommend the ultimate stripper from Silka. You will then obviously also need chain wax. For this video, we'll be using Silka's secret chain blend. I'm not entirely sure if it's possible to use the strip chip with wax from other brands, but I think as long as it can handle temperatures up to 125 degrees, it should be possible. Then something to melt the wax, for example, a crock pot or the waxing station from Silka, which we will be using. Note, if you do use a crock pot, make sure to closely measure the temperature and not exceed 125 degrees. Something like a candy sugar thermometer is best as you want to measure the temperature in the middle of the wax. And lastly, something to hang the chain to dry. For example, an old coat hanger or the waxing station's built-in hanger and coupler. Now let's dive into the actual process. Start by turning the melter on. It will automatically switch onto a temperature of 75 degrees Celsius, which would be fine if you were just melting wax. But in order to melt the strip chip, you will need to adjust the temperature to 125. Do this by pressing the plus button. Then you are going to pour 300 grams of secret chain blend wax into the melter or until 20 millimeters remain between the wax and the top of the pot. Break one block of the strip chip off and place it on top of the hot wax. Allow the melter to reach 125 degrees and the wax and strip chip to fully melt. This will take about 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, you can prep your chain. Get out the chain hanger and evenly feed it through the lengths of the chain. To avoid getting grease everywhere, you can slide it out of the package a bit and then feed it straight through. Once the wax has fully melted and the strip chip is no longer visible, go ahead and lower the chain into the wax. It might take some fiddling to get it fully submerged. Just make sure to not submerge the chain hanger into the wax. 
Then go ahead and agitate the chain for 30 seconds and let it sit for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, agitate the chain for 30 seconds once again and then lower the temperature to 75 degrees by pressing on the minus button. Wait until the temperature reaches 75 degrees. This will take about another 10 minutes. Once it reaches 75 degrees, you can remove the chain with the cable hanger, let the excess wax drip off and then hang it to dry for about 10 minutes. And don't forget to switch off the malter. You can simply close the lid and leave the wax in the pot to dry and reuse again whenever. Once the chain has dried up, it will be rigid. So before putting it back on your bike, loosen up the links with your hands. And there you go. You're ready to pop the chain back on your bike and after a few pedals, you will notice a few wax flakes fall off onto your frame. This is completely normal and you can simply wipe or blow it off. Lastly, let's talk about maintenance. How often do you need to wax your chain? How can I make it last longer, etc. So essentially, depending on riding conditions, you want to hot wax your chain every 300 to 400 kilometers. With one bag of secret chain blend, you can get about 50 waxings out of it. But if you are riding in wet conditions, then you will need to wax more frequently than every 300 kilometers and at times even straight after. When re-waxing your chain, give it a wipe with a microfiber cloth, heat the wax that was already dried up in the pot to 75 degrees and dip the chain in for 10 minutes. You do not need to use another strip chip, but if you are waxing a new factory grease chain, then you can throw in another strip chip, heat up to 125 degrees and repeat what was mentioned earlier. However, an efficient way to ensure the longevity of your wax chain is to use the super secret drip wax from Silka between hot waxes. After every three to four rides, or especially straight after a wet ride, you can simply let it dry, take a microfiber cloth, wipe off any dust or dirt, and apply the drip wax. Give it a good shake beforehand, apply it to every link, let it dry for 12 hours, and then you're ready to ride the next day. Doing this can extend hot waxing to even around every 500 kilometers. All in all, if you can hear your chain making a louder noise than usual, that is a good sign that the chain needs some wax. For an even deeper clean, you can boil some water in a pot, throw in the chain, and after a few minutes, all the wax and dirt will float to the top of the water. Remove the chain and throw it straight into the wax at 100 degrees. Again, let it sit for 10 minutes, lower the heat to 75, and then remove. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to chain waxing. Whether you're a seasoned cyclist or just getting into the sport, experimenting with chain waxing might be a game changer for your riding experience. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you very much for watching and until next time, peace.